you go back behind police. We're at the Greek border with Macedonia, where a humanitarian crisis is unfolding because of Europe's failure to come up with a common migration policy for how to tackle the refugee crisis. The other week, Austria acted independently and decided to cap the amount of people allowed to enter its borders, and they're only accepting 80 asylum seekers a day. This has caused a ripple effect all along the route from Greece to Germany with more and more countries clamping down on their borders creating this bottleneck here at this border crossing with more than 10,000 people stuck and there are more and more people arriving by the hour. Here will be a human crisis. The nations need to open the borders. That's it. We don't have no money. Food. Children are sick. It's Bad freezing. Camp. I didn't expect to see this. I expect to just cross like a human being. I came here thinking that they are the nation of humanity, but I've been shocked. Really, I've been shocked. <laughs> Leaving us like this, like animals, not like human beings. I just don't want to think that I will be stay he staying here for another day. This was only supposed to be a transit camp. Very quickly, in a week, a tent city has popped up. The camp is 10 times over its capacity, so the situation is pretty chaotic and there are a lot of women and children. No one. Not, not no one, please. Sure. Please go back. Finish now, go back! This border, the police, they are looking for any small things to tell him, okay, you cannot go, go back. Everybody back! Everybody! Everybody go back behind police. So you risk your life going from Mosul in Iraq to Raqqa in Syria and then all across Syria into Turkey. Yes, yes. Very, very sad in here. A lot of countries they stop the refugee and close all the borders. So what we can do? We stay here, we make a small town. What is the feeling for you to, to suddenly be stuck here and not know what the future is? We don't know. It's very, very bad feeling. And you can see these children. They don't know anything about the future. We don't have any place to go. Okay, so this is the checkpoint where before the restrictions, up until last week, you'd see sometimes a thousand people cross every day. But now, only a couple of hundred at most, if any. and. People are just sitting, waiting around. They have no idea what's going on. Frustration is growing. A few days ago, there was a protest here. People broke down the gateway, and the Macedonian police answered with tear gas. This is a police center. Every guy comes to here. The first thing they must do, they stamp the papers and take a number. Sometimes the police tell him, today we just do it for 100, 200, come tomorrow to stamp. Because we have about 10,000 people. <laughs> Are there a lot of fights like this? Yeah. I think it's normal. Anything happens. All the people, when they have stress because they stay here a long time and they don't know anything about the future. So the hundreds of people who have been queuing for food for up to two hours are having to leave now because the food is finished.
Our teams, what they do today is a miracle. We don't have enough shelter, our clinic is completely overwhelmed, and we try to feed these people. 10,000 people, it means 30,000 meals per day. But of course, it's not enough, not at all. We have still around 2,000, 3,000 people arriving in the Greek islands per day. We have more and more dead people in the Aegean Sea, more than 400 since the beginning of the year. In two weeks or three weeks, if there is no uh, decision taken, we will have more than 60,000 people or perhaps 100,000 people here in Greece trapped without any assistance. We need a plan to help Greece, but it's not at the level of the NGOs, it's at the level of the states of Europe. So it's almost like a little town. People are just accepting the fact that they're stuck here for a while. Here's a guy who's running a barber shop in a camp. This is our new home, maybe temporarily, maybe forever, we don't know. We don't like to go back to Syria and die. This is our thing, we stay inside. How long have you been here in the camp? Going from, I think, five days. Five, five, yes, five, five days. days. We have suffering here. It's a lot of cold at night. We could be like the people last night. It's very cold back here. We find set here for five days. It's like five years. <laughs> We were already in hell. We got out of hell. I don't like to see another hell actually. Some countries in the EU still think in the terms of whether or not they want refugees. And right now it's countries like Italy and Greece that have to bear the brunt of the crisis. Last year, almost a million people entered Greece and Greece is a country in deep financial crisis. So it's a really difficult situation and many think that this could come to the point where it makes or breaks the union.